Yeah, it, it's been phenomenal. And the relationship with Matt Sawyer over those years have been been great. They really have. You know, um, you know, the service is is great. I mean, when we need it, and it's not that often, um, they're there. You know, and that's that's the best part about it. Um, you can buy the best machine in the world, but it, I mean, everything breaks. I, you know, nothing's perfect. And uh, you know, we put a good service team behind it, and it's it's invaluable. It really is. and welcome back to another episode of MTD CNC USA. I'm with my buddy Keith and we're at Ross Machine where they have 21 Matt Sura machines and have worked with Matt Sura for 35 years, almost as long as Matt Sura has even been in the US. So I am extremely honored as they have no cameras typically that come in here to be allowed to come in and talk with Keith. So Keith, thank you so much for having MTD in. Oh. It's a pleasure having you here, Tony. Thank you so much. So let's talk about this specific Matt Sura, also kind of known as the Mini Ma'am, and how it's created success or helped you create success here at Ross Machine. Well, it's just a great machine. It's uh, very productive and a small footprint, and um, it allows us to run lights out, and um, we can do work during the day uh, while we're doing setups and let it run at night while no one's here. It's uh, another machine that was have helped us move into lights out machining and, and reduce our work staff to one shift. That's amazing. That's honestly amazing. So we're talking about a smaller footprint, but has the ability to do what a larger MAM can do, which is you know incredibly popular in our industry. And we're looking at 42 pallets, 338 tools, and one of the highest precision machines out there. Yep. Yeah, you know, obviously the work size is limited to a 6.3 diameter an inch, and uh, the height is somewhere around five or six inches. Um, but that fits the footprint of most of or the work size, the work size of every part that we do in our in our shop. And we have other machines that can accommodate larger, you know, work pieces as well. Well, with 21 Matt Sirs, I'm sure that you do. But working with this one and that smaller footprint, you guys fight for real estate because you have so many machines in this space. So having the ability to put a lot of work on this machine and the smaller footprint has really been helpful. But you also deal with some really small diameter tooling, which a 46,000 RPM spindle can help you with along with that precision, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the cycle times come down. Uh, you know, you're, you're, you're making the best use of your tooling. And, um, and you know, once you get down, your, your surface speed goes way up in the small diameters, and uh, a lot of machines don't get up that high in RPM, and we, we need the 46,000 uh, to, to achieve competitive cycle times. Yeah, we're all fighting for that, and with uh, with the skills gap being what it is and trying to find quality people, <laughs> I know you, you grow them in-house here, and it's important that they understand how you work here and the quality of machines, yeah. so really well done with that. You mentioned something that I want to go back to in your first statement, where you were running three shifts, but yeah. Having the inclusion of these machines that kind of run themselves almost, once you set them up with 42 pallets, 338 tools, you were able to reduce one of your shifts, so no more third shifts, but you were able to keep all of your employees and still get out the same amount of parts. That's correct. We, uh, when, we, when we buy the machines, we spec them with tool brakes detection and probes. And we actually add on uh, aftermarket machine monitoring. Um, so you know we could text when things go down, and we can evaluate how serious the problem is, or how you know urgent it is for that machine to run, and decide whether or not we need to send somebody in at night on the weekend to go and fix it. And um, you know it's it's really nice you know to have that feature, and it's it's just great. Yeah, absolutely correct. Now I know one of the incredible benefits of Matt Sura is the fact that you can run this right now. It's running all of its parts. You have pallets set up to run, obviously, throughout the week and the weekend. What industries do you work in that require you to have such precision and such a need to have so many parts going out the door running more or less three shifts or 24 hours a day, seven days a week, lights out machining? Well, most of the time, it's not really you know, the companies that we're doing work for, but it's the demand and the delivery, and that's where it's key. Uh, the precision, obviously, everybody wants precision, but everybody's really dependent on delivery and, and price. So, kind of, they want all three sides of the triangle. 
Keith, thank you so much for sharing this story. I know yeah. our audience loves to hear the transparency and the authenticity that comes from folks like yourself and Ross Machine. I really appreciate you allowing MTD to come yeah. in and listen to your story as well. You are yeah, amazing. Keep up the incredible work. All right, thank you, Tony. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thanks for coming out.